YouTube, what's good, man? We back with another video. As you see, we got Guest the Comedian featuring Drewski. So let's get straight to it with the Beta Squad. Today on Beta Squad, we're doing Guest the Comedian, and we've got a very special guest. Chunks! Hey, what's up, bro? They cloned him, they cloned him. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Drewski! Yeah, it's Drewski! It's Drewski! Oh, what are y'all doing? Two, right yeah, 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 I thought they cloned you. Yeah. What are y'all doing? Nah, he's, like, he's the American one. I'm, I'm the UK one. Everybody came here with suit. Juice came here with his drip ball. These folks got a pink table. Like these folks work for T-Mobile or something. <laughs> Guys, we opened the multiverse again and saw all the different types of chunks. And today, we're going with this one. Hopefully, it's a bit funny. How can I come to UK without with debaters? I'm proud to be here. I'm excited. And they brought a real pro in. It's a bee. How does it feel to be on a beta squad video? I know this is probably the highlight of your career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the biggest thing I've done to date. So yeah, I'm excited, man. This is great. Here are six people, and they are all came in to be comedians. However, only one of them is telling the truth. And it's our job to find out who that real comedian is. Round by round, we'll be voting one person out at a time. And if we guess correct, we win. But if we guess wrong, the liars will win a cash prize. This is false identity. All right, so let's jump into round one. Please bring out the comedians. Oh, yes. Right. Hey. Hang on a second. Let's, let's see what we got. Right he looks like a <laughs> politician. We'll off rip. Somebody smell like shit. Somebody stink. I, I smell like a, uh, it's like a cum smell. Number two looked like we just brought him from 100 BC and we just said, <laughs> come back. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, it was a caveman, had one day to get used to the world. You get it? The lineup was interesting. We had um, an archaic man from the, the caveman days. Uh, I got this stick. Uh, Obama. Number three looks like he could even be 16 or 40. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't work um, it out. Yo, no. I'm trying to get to what we can see here, bro. Let's Archaic see. Archaic man from the, the caveman days. Uh, and then obviously uh, Obama. Number three looks like. So we got five, six contestants. And who is the comedian? And my first guest, so I'm going to just go straight and guess before I even know too much of anything. Uh, I don't know. I want to go number one. Y'all comment down below which one y'all think it is. I'll start one right here. Left or right. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is your initial guess. One through six. Who you think it is? Could he even be 16 or 40? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't work it out. Yo, enough of him, man. I know he's easy. That's an easy target, but like, yo, come on, man. My first thoughts on these people is they all look a bit funny, but just because you look funny, it doesn't mean that you're funny. AJ's the prime example of that. And then number six? He's fresh. He's just one of those. Number one agrees with that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> number one, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm uh, Tyson Bradley. Thank you, man. Screw <laughs> 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 like that. We, we don't want to. We don't gotta give a whole spill. Just, let's get into it, right? Number one, I've seen that man before. I did a comedy club video back in the day, and he was one of the performers. Could you introduce yourself to the camera? Yeah, so I'm uh, Tyson Bradley. Which might mean he's the comedian. But before I tell the guys, I just want to watch him a bit. Number two, number two. Let's... My name is Guy Flores. That's what I'm saying. See, bro, my first instincts be right half the time. You dig what I'm saying? They're probably a comedian. I'm from Brazil. Number three. My name is Yarde Joba, and I'm from Oxfordshire. Yeah, Not the comedian. Okay. So when Drewski got on that flight, I'm pretty sure Obama got on it too, because there ain't no way that this guy's not Obama. He just changed his name so he can try to get re-elected here. I'm Peter Flanagan. Peter Flanagan. That's me. Peter Flanagan. That sounds like a comedian. Yeah, yeah it, does, it does. It does. Peter yeah, Flanagan yeah. is me. Yeah. My name is Samuel Coughlin White. No, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't, no, we, no, we didn't go to five. We, we didn't, didn't go to five. Hold yet. on. All right. We didn't, didn't cut to you yet. Cut, calm down. You just wait. Should we just skip him for now? <laughs> we'll come back to him after. Yeah. Go. We'll move on to number six. You're using the privilege there. That's what you were doing. <laughs> Twenty-two, from South East London. Didn't ask that though. And uh, what's your name? Your name? Gabriel. Gabriel. Yeah. And now we're going to go to number five. And my name is Samuel Coughlin White. White. We knew that. <laughs> <laughs> One to six, just let us know how long you guys have been doing comedy for. Got into comedy five years ago. About 10 years. I've been doing this for almost four years. And how long you been, no, not how long you been running for president. I've been doing stand-up eight years. Oh, I started six years ago. Six years. Six years. And I started two years ago. That doesn't help me with shit. No, it does help. 
if you've been on doing it for a long time, you should have some type of stage presence. You should be confident. Anyone that looks a bit timid, mm. shouldn't mm. be nervous. I agree. I agree. That's, you know that's good observation. Yeah, that's fact. So I'm he, getting he, nervy vibes from Samuel White. Maybe that's just his character. Though. Maybe, maybe he's, just he's, he's never been in a room with this much black people. To be yeah. honest, <laughs> I, I was gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. And he's even nodding as well. He's lost his mind. Now. <laughs> <laughs> he said. He said. Yeah. Too. There's something about number five that doesn't sit right with me. The way he's got his jumper tucked into his belt. Look, that's a well, model. I mean, we could pick someone out this round, but. Next round, we're going to see all of them perform yeah, their sets. Yeah, let's not take sets. anybody out. Let's, yeah. let's keep them off. We need to see a bit of their comedy. All they've really done is introduce themselves. So I think it's better right now if we keep them all in until the next round, where we'll double skates two of them. Great idea, yeah, man. Every time. Yeah, we do do this every time, but there's no Duh. need to be disrespectful and, and call us out for that. With that being <laughs> said, let's move on to the next round. And let's see some of these guys' sets. It's going to be painful, man. Who do you, who do you want to see out of all these you. guys first? Even the one as a comedian just try to be not funny. I don't think nobody's gonna be funny. And if it is funny, it's gonna be corny. I wanna see Obama first. Thank you, thank you. My girlfriend broke up with me and it was sad. But what didn't make it easier is that I started to receive a lot of online hate. One guy DM'd me and please guys, don't laugh. He DM'd me saying that I'm an Oreo. I'm <laughs> black on the outside and I'm white on the inside. I was outraged. How did he know that I crumble and break away after a split? <laughs> Thank you. What? <laughs> okay. okay. All, right. All right. What? Black on the outside, white on the inside. How did he know that I crumble and break after a split? I guess he's trying to say he's an Oreo. I don't really get that. I don't really get that. What the hell was that? That was a car crash. No, but the way he's leaving the next round, it's leaving. Yeah. yeah. No, no, he's gone. So, dude called him an Oreo, then he tried to say he crumbled in a great break at the split. They don't. Yeah, I don't get it. Still yeah, don't get I, it. I don't really know, too. Yeah, the, the whole Oreo thing, I don't. Let's just cut it. He, he's not the comedian. Right, <laughs> that was six, horrible. Six, 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 six. I want green. Green Supreme, man. Face squad, we good? Yeah. We good? Okay. Right. I like to give a bit of warm up, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. crowd work. I like I'll, it. <laughs> I'll address the elephant in the room. Uh, I am a bit of a pussy magnet. Uh, unfortunately, I'm the side of the pussy magnet that repels. Yes, um, my parents haven't come to see me <laughs> since I started doing stand up. My mum has never come to any of my gigs. My dad has never come to any of my gigs. I think my dad just regrets coming in the first place. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. But the delivery <laughs> <Great>. stinks. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Come in the first place. Okay, I got that one. I got that one. If you ain't get it, go back and listen to it again. He regret. It's a it's a uh, sexual kind of thing that's going on there. But boo. 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 Let him lie. Let him lie. I'll be honest. The serial killer, number five, was actually pretty funny, but the delivery was a bit too deadpan and it could have been better. So I just, I'll just be honest. I actually quite like number five and I think he's getting a hard time because I think, I think he's funny. I think he's a funny guy. I like that delivery. I Peter, we want to hear some more. That was horrible. Uh, well, I, I recently horrible. moved to West London. For some... <laughs> it's like what they got. Everybody already knew they was coming to do this. So they just had a lot of stuff in their bag to just say. Them folks got bullshit. Thing to say, like ready to go. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah, that was. What he said? Some, that delivery. I he probably didn't say nothing. You know, uh, like, well, I, I, y'all know how Juicy get to get the laugh and get doing crazy. They probably didn't say nothing. He said, Aaron Will, I recently. recently moved to West London. Some... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> he didn't say nothing yet, man. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> yo, right, yo, that's crazy. Yo, yo, the A man, you really, he might got a future. Yeah. Hey, we gotta keep that. We gotta keep that. We gotta keep that. Now this dude got it. There's something about him. A, hey, that West London. <laughs> man, he's saying it, man. This dude was so stupid. For real, man. I honestly, he got a future in comedy. He got a future in comedy. That West London joke gonna go far, boy. They might need to. He might need a Netflix special. He could do a Netflix special on that, boy. Who, who do y'all want next? Tyson Bradley, man. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, I. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is not how I normally start a comedy gig. Can I just say? Spit out. Speak. 
You're a comedian. I know you guys are wondering which part of America I'm from, uh, but I'm actually from Canada. I actually did just get back from America. I got back from doing some shows in Florida, and I met some real red, white, and blue, God bless America, man. People were just like, man, if you prick me, I bleed red, white, and blue. I'm like, hey, if you prick me, I bleed COVID vaccines. Try that one, America. <laughs> that was racist. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I do recognize Tyson Bradley a bit, but maybe we'll get into that a little bit later. Guy Florence? Yep, it's me. Horrible. My name is Guy Flores. I am from Brazil. Hold on, do, do you okay. speak English? <laughs> that, that's the joke. That's the joke. You guess my joke. I'll be like, when I came to this country, I could not speak English. <laughs> Listen, sir, sir, sir. Good, good. Good, good. Sir, back, good. Yeah, he doesn't. Guys, he doesn't comment. Thank you, sir. Drew, I was ruining somebody's time to shine, man. If y'all know about could have been regular, but he gonna cut somebody off quick, man. Let bro say he a joke, man. Was he speaking English or he? No, he was speaking English the whole time. Oh, he. Yeah. Susie be trolling, bro. Another day, I was in Camden Town, yeah. Then I saw. Nah, I ain't gonna cap though. That 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 little sentence he just said right there, ain't really sound like English. I had to read the words. Why did? Uh, Another day I was in Camden Town, yeah. Then I saw I saw two black guys talk to each other doing those, you know, those gang style hip hop gesture, yeah. Then I thought that is so cool. I have to talk to those black guys. So I went there. Excuse me, black guys. Uh, I like the way you speak to each other doing those gang style hip hop gestures. So the black guy told me, "Excuse me, mates. We're not doing any gang style hip hop gesture." Oh, my brother <laughs> is deaf. My oh is my deaf. goodness. All right. Uh, Understands. All right. All right. That why was not black funny. Guys, and why are you saying hip hoppy? Like, where was it hip hoppy? Is that a new genre? Like, it, it's getting a bit weird now. Number six. Gabriel. That was yeah. horrible. I'm going to tell you guys why you shouldn't trust uncles from the ends. First started my gig on the social media on the come up. So an uncle must have clocked me on the ends. He was just like, oh, yeah, Gabriel, come. Come do, come do your show. 200 on the house. 200 on the house. End of the show, I go back to the kitchen. He was just like, nah. I met two Hunter for the. For, you know what I mean? I was like, what? What's this? Is that like, two Hannah? Bro. I was like, uncle, come on, man. You're playing games, man. You're not standing on biz. You know he what I mean, Drew? Last week, last week he, he ain't said. standing on biz, Drew. <laughs> this isn't a set. I was like, two Hannah for what? He was like, two Hannah for mills in this house. You can come bring your friends and family, do 200 mil. I'm not giving you cash. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Was there no punchline? No, that's finished, he's finished. Get him out of here right now. I said he weren't standing on biz, man. Yeah, let's get mad at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Nah, that was horrible. We didn't tell nothing. That was halfway funny. He just told a story. You know, I'm never going to get back that time I spent listening to that. <laughs> what the f was that? And last but not least, please. Uh, Peter Flanagan, give us a set. I, I'm from Ireland. I, just, I don't know if you've been to Ireland. Have no, you, no, never. Have you ever met an Irish person before? No, never. I'm actually. going to dispel some stereotypes for you, Drewski. Okay. okay? Ireland is not backward. We're very modern now. Even the Catholic Church has its own app now. Allows you to chat to your nearest word. Catholic priest, Drewski. It's called Grinder. <laughs> oh. That's my opening joke, my. chaps. <laughs> Ireland's a lot less racist than the UK. You have to have really high self esteem to be racist. We've seen ourselves. Like, we know we're not part of the master race. We don't have good genetics. I'm probably getting skin cancer from that light. <laughs> right now <laughs> like we're too pale we're translucent the kkk looks at irish people and goes too much <laughs> that's not what we meant you're gross right, that's incredible <laughs> that's that's good. Good. That's that's good. Good. number four oh, very very dark the humor was dark but i have seen that kind of banter before and um he's very confident I, do like it. I think, listen, it's time we vote out two people. I, I say we bring back Gabriel, you know, give him some hope. Why, wait, why would we give him why? back? Why yeah. would we bring him no, back? We bring There's him back no today. point to bring him back. Vote two out. He's been shot off camera. We're starting yeah. from Kenny, actually, you know what? I'm going to vote for Obama. Sorry, man. You know what? Yeah, yeah he was horrible, too. Black people out. Why are we getting the They always horrible, honestly. We though. might need to keep Obama. Give him a second chance. He got something in his bag. Oh, why is he holding his, 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 his thigh like that? Like he's got something. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah, think, oh, this last bitch. I'm going to vote out. Prashil. I, th I think he had something about me, to be fair. Come on, yeah, that was horrible, too. My brother from British Columbia, Tyson Bradley, even though I do really like you, man. I I've got to go with my twin, too, as well. Tyson Bradley, I'm sorry, man. The guys are about to take out really? number one, but I can't let them knowing that I've seen him in a comedy club. So at this point, I have to let them know 
and hopefully we can keep him in. Tyson Bradley. Now, here's a little plot twist for you guys. I actually filmed a video once at a comedy club and I saw Tyson Bradley on the stage. Wait, what? It wasn't a big, big comedy club. I mean, I can't rule him out for being the first 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 comedian first. with that knowledge. My Brazilian brother. Sorry, man. It's, I'm gonna have to vote for you. Based on what Nico told me, I'm gonna have to take you out, man, sorry. But I do think you're funny, though. You are, you are funny. You are funny, my Brazilian brother. Brazil. Jokes about, uh, the Brazilian guy's not actually a comedian. I saw him in Subway earlier. He was seven. <laughs> Round three. In no way. Time to interrogate. Who wants to go first with that question? I'll go first. Uh, Green, have you ever dated a black woman? Yeah. yeah. Did she say the N word? Was she able to say? Not around me, no. <laughs> not around. Who the f are you to be saying not around me? <laughs> why, 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 did, why didn't she say it around you? Like, huh? What? Who made this guy the president? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not around me. <laughs> <laughs> What you mean by not round me? He got a slave master way of saying it, talking about not, <laughs> round, not round me, not by me. What you, hold on, partner? Have you ever had a joke that fell flat? Like, Ooh, that's you got one. heckled so bad. If so, what was it? Uh, so I was. Yeah, they just said one. Like, that question this, uh, this YouTube shoot with Beta Squad, and I tried to tell <laughs> a joke that has typically worked in other contexts, and it fell flat. I tell you that right now. <laughs> I got heckled once. I've been heckled a few times. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I was talking about feeling tired and one of the hecklers said, yeah, we're all tired of your performance. And I got him kicked out by the security guards. So you couldn't take a joke? You're going to have to take a joke. <laughs> a community, yeah, right, well, uh. This joke in particular, they, they almost chased me out of town with pitchforks. I said, Prince Harry and Meghan have pet names for each other. Harry calls Meghan Cinderella. She married a prince, and Meghan called Harry Jesus because no one knows who his real dad is. They did not like that at all. He didn't, he didn't find that one funny on the end. Because one thing about comedians, they don't laugh at other comedians' jokes all the time. Keep a straight face along this whole entire road we've been down. <laughs> Sammy, what was your worst joke? My worst joke? Oh, like, yeah, by the audience. Yeah, they know. Shall I do it? I mean, yeah, uh, it, uh, the joke hasn't worked. Yeah, so I was in Ansel the other day, and I was looking at one of the shelves, and they had, like, toys, dummies, nappies, diapers on the shelf, and the next day they had Rehypnol. I thought that's a bit weird for Asda to sell. And I looked up and it turned out I was in the paedophile. No one has ever laughed at that joke, but I quite like it. Well, when did you realize you were funny? Or oh, no, think you're Man, you know that was a joke, man. He keep like, saying like, they telling some weak stories. Well, I mean, actually, ever since childhood, so I would go to school I and comedian, I would bring bro. a fake, I really do. Uh, plastic microphone and I would do stand-up sets and I just loved entertaining people and making them laugh. Um, yeah, I was the class don't clown. Ask him, don't ask him, ask him. Cause, no, he didn't realize. Old, Dave, he, he didn't yeah. realize it was funny. <laughs> yeah, but I might keep quiet. Move on, move on to he the next person. Funny. You're not funny, he bro. Never even realized. Listen, I've already voted for you. I don't even know why you're still there. Yeah. When I was a kid, you know, you're making jokes in school around the house. Uh, I got laughed at a lot in school. People were laughing at me, so I tried to just spin it that. to my advantage, really. Can everyone tell me their inspiration? What was their favorite comedian of all time? Andy Kaufman. Yes. What a guy. Mine's the king, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> don't look like uh, Drewski even knew who that was. Solid answer. I really like a Scottish comedian, Frankie Boyle. Oh, yeah. Norm MacDonald, he's a Canadian old person. It's a good question as well, because maybe like you see their style if they've taken yeah, the yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you see what? bits of uh, Eddie Murphy? I, I actually have a question. <laughs> At what age did each of you lose your virginity? <laughs> what does God do with anything? It's a comedian question. How is that going to help us? I think <laughs> he said it's a comedian question. What is Drewski be tripping, man? I know what it is with Drewski. I think he's just <laughs> horny. The reason I ask, because I can smell it on him. Ain't nobody on this lineup right here done had no coochie yet. Because if you're funny, you can get pussy. That's a big assumption on your part. He's trying to say he's still a legend. Oh. <laughs> In no way, I was 15. Isn't that illegal? I can't even. Wait, wait isn't that, that illegal? It's not even believable. Look at the way he says it. How, how old are you? 16. Oh, why? He just changed it. Because <laughs> Kenny said it's illegal. <laughs> Number three is involved in some nefarious acts. He was sweating. I said, 15. Come on, brother. Choose a number. One thing number three didn't know is that I am a detective in my spare time, and one of the common signal nonsense is that numbers don't mean nothing to them. I'm seeing that. It has a here. traffic warden. Obama. Monty. Mr. Flanagan. 18. There we go. Samuel. 19. My issue now is I find all of them funny. Yeah. Yes. What's your 
biggest gig slash show that you've done? What was it like? The Comedy Store, uh, with about 300 people there. So my biggest gig was last year at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. It was 300 people the, there. The cringe, the cringe Festival? No, the Fringe, Fringe. <laughs> the Cringe Festival? <laughs> he he said Cringe at first. There. So my biggest gig was last year at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Oh, it was fringe. 300 oh, he said fringe. people there. The Cringe, the cringe Festival? No, the Fringe, Fringe. <laughs> the Cringe Festival? <laughs> I was about to say, man. He's the main act. The most important gig to me was probably last year at the Edinburgh Fringe. I did a month there doing a show every night. That was very important to me. You guys were at the same uh, festival. So. Yeah, we must have missed each other. <laughs> <laughs> man, what's going on right now? Obama, Obama lying, man. He too quick to answer that fair. He too quick to answer. No, he lying. Missing you. I don't care what happens now. Number three is my favorite. This guy is hilarious. I think he's a genius. You yeah. three are incredible you need to lighten up though man <laughs> 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 no, no. Bro, he's my goat you know you <laughs> that's my goat upset hey. the second you walk in. what's the biggest gig you've done uh up the creek in greenwich do you know up that the club i've done that of all the comedians around you right here which one is your favorite oh good question i think anyone can have potential they could all uh be good uh if they just keep practicing you know i think peter has the most potential i think um if you stick at it you You'd be really good. <laughs> Yada is funny, brother. Well, like. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. you're talking to a professor and saying that he's a sticker. And he's looking him up and down. Yeah, looking him up and down as well. Biting his lip as well. That's it. <laughs> I think uh, Yarda is remarkable. I think I think it's really funny. He's he's really funny. Oh yeah, they're hooking up, man. They're gonna hook up. Man, he's both funny in like a weird way, like you don't expect. Do you know what I mean? It's time we vote someone out. I don't know, man. I can't. I can't really decide. I feel like. Who y'all yeah, voting out, man? In their own way. We have to make a choice. How about we take two out in the next round? What are we saying? We've never done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right. it's, so, it's so close. I, I, I don't know. It's hard to choose. I get it. I hear it. It's I, very hard to choose. I agree. To be fair, the next round is a roast where they roast us. So we hear their roasts. So if y'all had to take somebody out right now, who would it be? It probably would be... I mean, I'd probably take four out them with the Supreme shirt because I don't know, bro. I don't know, he just ain't give. He just ain't giving comedian. Alright, cool. I mean, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm down to do that because I think they're all hilarious. So I want to hear this. I decided to keep them all in, you know, and vote two out in the next round because I think it's just too hard, it's too close. Kenny's absolutely capitulated and not voted for anyone, but to be honest, I back it because I'm looking forward to hearing everyone's roasts. So, round four, we're getting roasted. Oh my god. <laughs> Might as well just go in number order. Alright. <laughs> No, it's good. Uh, it's uh, it's nice to see that uh, Poundland had a suit sale. So uh, very very happy about <laughs> Fair, that. Fairs. Uh, apart from the one guy that couldn't afford Poundland, so uh, well done <laughs> on that. Uh, yeah, it's good. Actually, last time I saw Nico uh, doing stand up, you weren't that funny, and so it's good to see that some things never change. Number one hasn't said anything funny this whole video, and he's a comedian. I'm not a comedian. I've never claimed to be a comedian. I'm not funny. Yeah. So you're failing at your job. And you know what? You're lucky I don't take things personal, you stupid prick. You dick. I'm just wondering though, if, if all of your guys' moms got together and decided that you had to bring along that one, you know, brother that's not really supposed to be part of the beta squad, you know, AJ over here. So <laughs> glad that your mom forced you to come out tonight. Chunks, I love you. I'm not gonna go hard. I love the fact that, uh, that the most viral thing about you is your laugh. Um, Very <laughs> more viral than any joke that you've ever the, the attempted squeal. to make. Kenny, uh, you seem like a nice guy. I'd really love to see you uh, get your ass kicked in a YouTube fight one day. Oh, damn. Okay, that was deep. <laughs> Bob, here we go. I'll take you guys one by one. Not like that. Yeah, okay. that one sounds crazy. So the first, first dude, yeah, that did sound pretty crazy. I'll take you guys one by one. What are you talking about? But the first dude, cool, slight laugh. You know, ain't too funny, but yo, he nah, did that's great, that's though, out there, buddy. So no, far. AJ, you. We'll see. Look easy to draw. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It what? It is. It's funny you say that I'm easy to draw, number three, because I literally drew you in my interview right now. I just finished right now. Look. You little pussy. Nico, I always wondered what a giraffe would do if they started a YouTube channel, and now we know. You're calling me a giraffe as a roast. You're roasting me for being tall. Six foot five. <laughs> Thanks, man. Chunks, I know you said you like me, but you're a singing merchant. Fez, I am. If you didn't know how to sing, you'd still be working at the cinema with AJ. Crazy. Oh. <laughs> wow. Why, why did you come back to me? Chunks, I think your looks make up for your entertainment value. Oh, wow. Why they not, why they not roasting Drewski, though? 
They need to get on Drewski. That boy gonna really get funny. Wow. Am I, am I that boring? And Kenny, my brother, I think you should leave the beta squad. But I think you should join the side man. Because I think you have years of experience as the beta squad side man. He doesn't mean it. He doesn't, no, mean, he mean, he mean, doesn't mean it. He meant that one. He meant that I'm one. I'm sorry. I'm just saying there's a reason you're on the end. This is getting personal, man. I was just hit me as well, bro. Getting deep, man. You know that one was personal? And I'm talking to you, James, because it's like, at the end of the day, why would production allow someone to come onto the show like that to violate me? Uh, <laughs> Generally, I took that one to heart. This is absolutely terrifying. I don't, I don't fully understand why I'm here or how I ended up here. I feel uh, Drewski is probably asking himself the same question. Like, <laughs> Drewski has worked with Drake. He's worked with Snoop Dogg. Nah, nah, he's worked nah. with J. Cole. And today he's working in an industrial estate in Wimbledon. Uh, <laughs> like, something has gone seriously <laughs> How do you go from working with Drake to working with the Brazilian guy who looks like Jesus with long COVID? Like you, you have f***ed up. I, 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 you need to fire your manager. Something's gone wrong. Trick. I, like I presume the only reason you're here is to eat AJ, or maybe you're here to f*** him. I don't know. No, I love these dudes, man. They cool, man. Uh, oh, God, Shiki, no. the tall one. Uh, uh, no, nobody. He cool too. He was here. AJ, what are you doing here? I mean, if you're here, like, who is the Wolf of Wall Street throwing at a dartboard? I don't get it. Kenny, I'm not being paid enough to roast a professional boxer to his face. I will say that you do seem like you sniffed a lot of glue when you're in school. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not gonna roast you. But while I roast your friends, maybe someone could get Kenny some coloring books and some crayons. <laughs> I don't want him to be bored <laughs> while we Incredible. take care of business here. Incredible. What a weirdo, how did he know that? So? Well, Sharky, uh, you said you recognized me. And I think I've figured out why. I, I googled you. Uh, you are the oldest of seven children. I am, yeah. Yeah, you are a deeply closeted Irish Catholic. That's we. I, we've matched on Christian Mingle. I'm sure of it. Like, keep an eye on him. He is a pedophile in the making. I promise you. Wow. He's a wrong one. Yes, I got something different. Bang! I'm not boring. I'm a pedophile. No, that's not good. Nico, Get you're oh, amazing. Bro, you're amazing. You got the leader of the KKK to say Black Lives Matter but you have not been able to get your father to say, son, I'm proud of you. Oh. Dang. Well, Peter Flanagan, that's where you're wrong because my dad's very proud of me and I'll prove it. Did it go else? Hello? Oh, Hello, this. my father. I've got something I wanted to say to you. So a comedian just said to me that you aren't proud of me. <laughs> well, he's right. And what? your breath stinks. <laughs> I told you not to call me, okay? What, but I, you, I, I love you, though. I, I love you. Well, Dang, it's dead for real. Chunks, your last one. No way. I think you're amazing, too. You look fantastic. Doesn't he look fantastic? He does, yeah, he you does. Know, he does look fantastic. He does. Great. You've great. had more of a glow up than Shamima Bijam. You look fantastic. <laughs> really? <laughs> now, in <laughs> fairness. That's a, that's a long one. In fairness to Shamima. Her transformation was natural. Chunks, you've had more work done than Mia Khalifa. <laughs> oh, what the <laughs> shit? But you look fantastic, and thank you for letting me be here, guys. All right, cheers. Wow. Yeah, he had a good road session, man. Fucking Peter Flanagan. Yeah. Cool, cool road session. He probably the best one out of all. Uh, maybe he, 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 maybe the first dude might be number two now. He won, and then other dudes just horrible. That, because I've never done anything in my life. And uh, seeing people on Ozone Peak, is that what it's called? Ozone Peak, Ozone Peak. Wallahi, I've never done that in my life. Yeah, it was pure hard work determination. The most work I've done is my teeth. I did Invisalign. No composite bonding, no veneers. Please put respect to my name. I actually worked hard for this. You Even got a BBL, I'm, I'm man. Again. I don't know what you got. Leave me alone. Drewski, how's it going, man? How's it going? When you graduated college, you were scamming well, like people, right? You were a scammer. What the fuck? No? When the fuck are I scaring anybody? You were scamming people, no? That's what some interview said, no? Okay, we can skip that joke, that's cool. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, say the joke that you're gonna say with that. Okay, so after college, you were scamming people, which I think is pretty Matter fucked fact, up. the joke. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> next joke. <laughs> <laughs> that might be true. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. I ain't had nothing to do. I ain't do no... Anything that happened in my past... 
Well, let me not address it. Like, yeah, let's just cut the whole. Let's cut the whole thing whole. Just cut it. We can well, cut that right. Skin back yeah. gap, man. In uh, <laughs> yeah, we ain't got to talk about that. Yeah, legally, we'll talk. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, thank y'all. In 2021, Nico came fifth place in the London mayoral election which is actually higher than you score in the beta squad, so that's uh, pretty surprising. <laughs> you fight hard in the ring, Kenny, you know? You fight almost as hard as you do to scrape 100K views on your YouTube channel. If I win tonight, I'm gonna celebrate pretty hard. I'm gonna celebrate almost as hard as I did when I thought AJ was leaving. Good reference. I'll celebrate that. Hey, you've done your research. I don't know what's hurting your back more, carrying the beta squad or your tits. <laughs> oh, these are heavy. <laughs> these are heavy. <laughs> I tried to write a joke about Sharky, but you're actually too boring to make a funny joke about, so I haven't been bothered. But, but um, I would have preferred like this. <laughs> Let's leave it there. Thank you, guys. Oh, Cheers. Thank you, man. I, generally, I feel hurt. I feel, I feel like I, I need to fight. Okay. He's he's he must have been the wow. leader beta squad for real. Comment down below if you know he was from the leader beta squad. Hi, right, you're AJ. the roastiest. We've just got a few more questions, man. Please. Nah, can you please take that out, though? Can you please take that out? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll figure about it out, yeah. But please. All right. We've got All a few right. more questions. <sighs> what did you think of that guy's roast? Uh, oh, yeah, it's... No. Next question, man, next question. What I've gathered from there is everyone's a comedian. It's just that one of them is professional. Yeah. That's genuine, yeah. Because f***ing hell. Everybody has their own way. Yeah, yeah. to be fair, yeah, was... Yada, you could have gone harder than that. It was too nice, it was too nice. I think it's because he likes I'm with us. you, I'm with you. But we still have to remove two people here. So it's time. Start with you, AJ. Let's go. You two, sorry. I completely agree with... They're getting rid of two of them. Said, I'm sorry. Oh, they're getting rid of the dude I thought was a comedian. They tripping. You know, we go way back. Yeah, I got to yeah. Those are the two weakest links here. I, um... I thought the first yeah. one... I can't lie, I thought the first one was the second best, though. Like, ain't Tony no way. and uh, Yarda. <laughs> Tyson, Tyson. Tyson, Tyson. Tony and Yarda, yeah. I'm going to say, I'm going to go for Yarda and Samuel. I'm going to vote for the two people that roasted me the most, Yarda and Samuel. Even though Peter, you called me a pedophile. But I think I'd rather be called a pedophile than boring. Mm, so, I'm getting close Yarda, now. Yeah, that's not even in my head, yeah. Yarda and Samuel, I'll vote for you. Wait, hold on, what? I'm gonna vote for Tyson, sorry, mm. and Obama. That mm. means that there's four votes on uh, Tyson, and there's actually six votes on the other. <laughs> uh, so it shows. So now who live though? With these two gone, him gone, him gone, I definitely bet you it's him as a comedian, easily. But like he probably just you know, I mean, fell for it at the end. But it's absolutely fine, guys. Round of applause. Round of applause. Fifty fifty chance. It's yeah, time I guess for round below. five, where the comedians are going to be roasting each other. I, I, I'll hear him first, because I, I, I like when he gets mad. <laughs> <laughs> His rebuttal is pretty crazy. Now I'm excited. Two comedians left, and they have to roast each other. And all we get to do is sit back and watch. I think Peter Flanagan is going to flipping tear him in the one. You guys have been trying to figure out which one of us is a comedian. I've spent the last couple of hours trying to figure out which one of these guys is my Uber driver. Credit to the crew. <laughs> who've assembled a very diverse group of incels. <laughs> oh my like, God. Incels, you guys crazy. probably haven't been able to smell it from there, but the smell of stale <laughs> semen is intoxicating. Is I think I'm high on cum. <laughs> no. I'm happy you're here, because if you're here, that means somewhere there's a school without a shooter, and that's good. <laughs> you look like a school shooter. You do give me the vibe of like, if Lord Farquaad did gay porn, <laughs> That's your energy. <laughs> and I think that's wonderful. <laughs> and it's been a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. Thank you. You wrote them quick too, got in and out of there. Because I did think he looked kind of school shooterish. I'm on it, like, genuinely. So that was incredible. And he said, a gay Lord Farquaad. Do you know how funny that is? Fair. I don't know what that is. Hey, give us that savage. How are we doing? We're doing well? Good. You shouldn't be. I haven't actually paid to see you do stand up, but I have seen some of your Instagram clips. And I don't think I've seen an Irishman bomb harder since the 1980s. Oh my. <laughs> bomb harder since the 1980s. Did you in I did. Were you Catholic growing up? Yes. Wow, that's funny, because you look like an abuse victim, but you also look like an abuser at the same time, which is quite the achievement. You're Irish. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, a bit of a hack joke, I guess. So, um, are you an alcoholic? Because uh, you fucking should be. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sam is not even roasting anyone. I think he's just literally bringing up child trauma. What is going on? <laughs> Someone check this guy, please. You look we crazy. Stop doing like assessments. Man, a real school shooter. You know, okay, let me tell you one thing about Sammy, man. 
He's dark. He just, it's just. Yeah, he's super percent. dark. Man. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So are you saying, are you saying that the scamming thing is true? No, nah, I'm not saying that. No, I, and I think we should still take that out. I think, but um, yeah, nah. <laughs> We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll, we'll work it out. Okay. Yeah, we'll but if, it, if it's if it's yeah. not true, then it's like no, no, no. I was, no need to I was saying let's move on. From oh, that. oh, okay, yeah, I got yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna start with <laughs> Drewski. So Drewski, who do you think the comedian is? As I think he is very funny looking. <laughs> <laughs> I do think he's great on his toes. You can tell that yeah. he's a, yeah. a, a good, skilled comic. Yeah. So I gotta give it to my guy right here, Flanagan. Yeah, it's probably him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think I think that's Flanagan pretty easy. Is absolutely class, but. Sometimes you see a little spark Sparks in a bottle. Out of him. My boy Samuel, my brother, I'm gonna have to say that I think you are the comedian. I'm gonna go with Flanagan. I think they're both very funny, not gonna lie. Samuel surprised me a lot. In terms of charisma and stage presence, I'm gonna go with Peter. I think you're, you're the comedian. Well, I mean, from the very first round when I saw all five of them, and it hasn't changed once throughout this whole video, so I'm gonna say true to myself and I'm gonna say Peter is a comedian. The thing is, I think they both could be comedians. I wouldn't be shocked either or. But he's, he's also very good. Uh, yeah, he's very good. But I think it's just the deadpan for me. I, just, I was just a bit scared. So that is five votes for Mr. Flanagan and one vote for Samuel. Now let's bring everyone back in and find out if we were right. So overall, do you I, think I the boys got it right? Got taken out and executed. All right, so five of Who do you think was a comedian? So them boys voted. They eliminated down to this one. I said this one from the beginning. I feel like that was too, it was a good choice, but bro, it's pretty good. I think they might have got it right, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's either him or him. Who y'all think? Comment down below. One through six again, last guess. That's the vote for Peter. So Peter, if you have tricked us, then you win a thousand smackaroonies. So, will the real comedian please step forward? Gabriel, Gabriel, you stay there. You stay there, Gabriel. They playing, man. Oh! They got it right, bro. Hey, let's go. Yes! 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 We got it. That means we keep the thousand. That's crazy. Clean sweep. I don't think in baseball history, we've almost had a clean sweep like that. You know, this might be the first time ever. We always get it right, baby. We always get it right. Peter Flanagan, the comedian. You voted for the other guy. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. We keep our money. All right. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Drew's gonna steal the money. What's that? Huh? Where's the money gone? Where's the money? Nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll talk after. So. Where's the money gone? Let's talk about the comedian that won. Everybody, clap it up. Clap it up. Drew's <laughs> <laughs> trolling me. All right, we just got robbed, but um, talk to us, <laughs> you professional comedian, right? How long have you been doing it for? About eight years. Professionally? Professionally, about four now. You could tell. Very, very you could tell. Genuinely. You could tell for four years, that's solid. Thank you very much, appreciate that. I, I do comedy full time, but I also do have some side hustles on the side, so technically not fully pro yet. I do stand up sometimes, yeah, but I gave up because my material is a bit dark. What do you say? More positive, more positive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do subtitles. He's struggling to hear what he's saying. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, sir. Yeah, for, thank thank you. you, sir, for coming. All right, thank you. So I don't do any stand-up at all. I'm just yeah. a post-grad student. Samuel, uh, I am a comedian, but not professionally. No. Are you all right, you can tell. You can tell. You're a comedian, but but what? Samuel, I am a comedian, but not professionally. No. Are you all right, you can tell. You can definitely tell. Great. And then Gabriel, how long have you been a, a stylist? You said a stylist. You said a stylist. Not a comedian. Not a comedian. Stand up comedy at all. Um, yeah. I just want to say thank you so much to, to Drewski for actually uh, being on this. Was this probably the biggest thing he's ever done in his life? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and with that being said, Drewski, any last words? Play the trailer, ladies and gentlemen. There is no trailer this week, Why? unfortunately. Why? Why is there no Why? trailer? We're going to be taking a break. It's needed. Really? I feel like... Who needs it? We all do. I feel like we're burnt out, the speak ideas... For speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. I don't <laughs> Fair enough. You I know what? Can. You speak then. Bro, or you speak. Ah. Or you... So, guys, there is no trailer this week, and that is because we have something to tell you. After two years and four months of consistency, we've decided to take a break. We feel like the break is needed because, you know, we need to take a step back to work out a way where we can improve the quality of the videos. You were talking about. Generally, if this was up to me, this is how it would go. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> yeah. So, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe.
We're gonna keep it coming, keep it going. Uh, comment down below any videos y'all want to see me react to. Vaughn will be back soon. We've been busy. So stay on the lookout. We got plenty more videos coming. So just comment, like, subscribe, share. At the end of the day, stay obvious.